We've gotten brand new tracks and we've gotten brand new characters, but in my opinion, the coolest part about Mario Kart Tour that hasn't yet made its way over to 8 Deluxe is the different costumes. Some characters in 8 Deluxe, like Yoshi, Shy Guy, and Birdo, have alternate costumes that you can switch into, but we need more. What if every single character in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe had alternate costumes that you could race as? If you want to skip around to specific characters, chapters will be down below. That's what this video is about, so let's jump right into it, because there are a lot of characters to get through, starting off with the main plumber himself, Mario. Now, to be fair, Mario kind of already has three alternate costumes in the game. Those being Metal Mario, Gold Mario, and Tanuki Mario. For simplicity's sake, I put these here in this graphic, but if Nintendo were to add in alternate costumes, they wouldn't then suddenly make Tanuki Mario into an alternate costume for Mario, simply because Tanuki Mario and Metal Mario have different stats and weight from normal Mario. All the alternate costumes would just be the exact same stats as the normal driver. I just put it here because it looks better. All right, so the five alternate costumes costumes that we have for normal Mario are Dr. Mario, who is absolutely iconic. I mean, he's the only clone version of Mario in Smash Bros, so that's gotta mean something. SNES Mario, which is actually really cool. In Mario Kart Tour, there's a Mario SNES version that's this weird 2D pixel art, but in a 3D aesthetic. I would love to see that somehow make its way into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Following that up, we have Musician Mario. This takes his musician outfit from Mario Kart Tour and mainly Mario Odyssey, because honestly, I think the musician outfit is one of the coolest Odyssey original fits, followed up by Builder Mario, obviously from Mario Maker. Last but not least, we have Royal King Mario, and luckily, all of these characters are actually in Mario Kart Tour, so logistically, I could totally see these make their way over. They already have the models, all they would need to do is maybe spruce them up a little bit and then just drag and drop convert them over. I mean, modders have literally been doing this for years, it wouldn't be that difficult at all for Nintendo. Moving on though, over to Mario's brother Luigi. I love Luigi, but in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, if you enjoy Luigi, you can only race as Luigi. So many other characters have clones. Bowser has Dry Bowser, Peach has Pink Gold, and Cat Peach, but Luigi is just stuck all alone. Let's fix that. We're gonna start off with Luigi Vacation, because I think seeing the Luigi Death Stare from Mario Kart 8, but with these sick glasses, would be hilarious. Next, we have Cat Luigi. I mean, Tanuki Mario and Cat Peach are already in the game. And then Dr. Luigi. Funnily enough, Dr. Luigi actually has his entire own game on the Wii U, so this one isn't as far-fetched as you might think. Then we have Night Luigi. Builder Luigi, again from the Super Mario Maker games. Then we have three of my absolute favorite alts in all of Mario Kart Tour. Luigi as his painter variation, Luigi in his golf outfit, and last but not least, Chef Luigi. Cooking up some shells and bananas to hurl at enemies, I think that is absolutely perfect. Within these nine costumes, I was looking for a way to maybe fit in the poltergeist somewhere, because it feels weird to not have a Luigi's Mansion reference, but just to be honest, I couldn't really think of one. Luigi doesn't really have a different costume in Luigi's mansion to my knowledge. He just kind of wears the poltergeist on his back. If you have any ideas on how to get the poltergeist into the game though, let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, why don't you use the poltergeist to shoot a plunger at that subscribe button? Only 5% of our audience is subscribed. That's crazy. So just check. You might think you're subscribed, but you're not actually. And now let's jump into Princess Peach's costumes because these ones are pretty cool. Of course, we have Cat Peach and Pink Gold Peach, which are obviously already in the game, but now we have Peachette. Funnily enough, Peachette actually isn't a reskin of Peach. If anything, she'd technically be a reskin of Toadette because in the new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe game, you get Peachette when you play as Toadette and then get the Super Crown power up. But I mean, it's clearly Peach. I Like if they're going to add Peachette into the game, it would be as a Peach reskin. Next, we have Peach Vacation and then Peach Winter Time. Peach Winter Time is one of my favorite tour ults because it's actually the same version of Peach that you see in Super Mario Odyssey when you visit Peach on the Moon Kingdom. I just love little Easter eggs like that. And then moving right along, we have Dr. Peach. Next, we have Yukata Peach. I love this design in the little King Boo she uses as like, I guess a beret. And then last but not least, one of the most iconic outfits from Super Mario Odyssey, Princess Peach in her wedding gown. I seriously think Odyssey needs a bunch more references in Mario Kart. I mean, to my knowledge, I don't think there's any here. So that's why I picked that. Let's move on now to Daisy. Now, not all of the characters we're gonna get into in this video have all nine alternate costumes. It's just not feasible. Some of them, it would just be an insane stretch. But to be honest, for some reason, Mario Kart Tour loves adding in Daisy alts. So we got to nine pretty easily here. First, we have the Holiday Cheer version version of Daisy, followed by the fairy version of Daisy with this cool little sunflower headdress. Following that up, we have a farmer version of Daisy, and then Daisy Swimwear, again from Mario Kart Tour. We had Peach Yakuda, so Daisy Yakuda seems like a given. I love that the little boo that Peach had is now replaced with the cheap cheap. And then Daisy Tie Dress. I mean, I guess this makes sense because Bangkok Rush is already in the game. And then next up, we have Sailor Daisy. Last but not least, we have Orange Bronze Daisy. Orange Bronze Daisy is a completely fan-made version of Daisy, but honestly, I think 
it fits. I mean, we have pink, gold, peach, orange, bronze, daisy, just kind of tracks. Put her in the game. Next, we have Rosalina. We're starting off with Rosalina Halloween with this cool witch hat, and then honestly, probably the coolest alt in all of Mario Kart Tour, Aurora Rosalina. I think this design, like her dress is just so cool. I love the kind of like, it leans into the galaxy aesthetic, which obviously makes sense because she's from Mario Galaxy. I don't know, I think this dress is super cool. Next, we have Rosalina swimwear, followed by Fire Rosalina. Funnily enough, this is the exact dress that she wears when she gets a fire flower in Super Mario 3D World. And speaking of 3D World, we have then Tanuki Rosalina. After that, we have Rosalina Chef with the tall chef hat, and then Rosalina Volendam. Last but not least, rounding out the 3D World trilogy, we got Fire, we got Tanuki, yup, it had to happen, Cat Rosalina. I honestly kind of always loved this design because you would assume that it's just gonna be like that light blue typical Rosalina color, but it actually goes with like a really dark, I don't even know if that's a really dark blue or gray or something. I just like the color, I think it looks really good. All right, after Rosalina, we have Tanuki and Cat Peach, which obviously don't really count for anything because they're just clones of other characters. Although at least for Tanuki Mario, if we were getting really technical, you could give him the white Tanuki variant, which you get in 3D World, as like that game's kind of assist mode. Yoshi obviously already has a bunch of colored alts. All right, time to cook with Toad. Ironically, I thought this one was gonna be difficult, but Toad has so many alternate costumes, it's almost impossible to choose just nine. First, we have Builder Toad, and then Cat Toad, again from Super Mario 3D World. I just get used to it. As soon as I can put a 3D World reference in this video, I will. But then we get into the more iconic stuff, such as Captain Toad. This is just Toad with a headlamp, and a bit of a backpack, but I love the Captain Toad game and levels in 3D World. We absolutely need to see this little guy come on over. And then we have Astronaut Toad. Astronaut Toad is actually already in the game. You can see him on the menu. There's a bunch of them bumping around on the Mario Kart 8 original Rainbow Road. So it just makes sense to add him in. And then we have Penguin Toad from the new Super Mario Bros. Wii game. So for the final three on this little graphic I made, you can tell that it's all the different pit crew levels of Toad. I just went for the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. But to be honest, there are so many versions of pit crew Toad in Mario Kart tour that they could give you even more. They could let you like choose the exact color. Next we have Koopa. I think he just deserves a bunch of Koopa free running alts. There are a bunch of these characters in Mario Kart tour. Obviously they originated from Mario Odyssey. Just give them the different colors of the Koopa free running. And hey, maybe if they wanted to get really creative and do a little bit of cross promotion here, they could give us the blue Koopa from the Super Mario Bros movie. That would be kind of funny because he obviously, well, spoiler, I guess he turns into a blue shell in that movie. So if you like threw or got hit with a blue shell as you're playing as that guy, it would just kind of be funny. Shy Guy once again, already has his ultimate costumes cut out for us, but then Lakitu, this is where it gets weird. Now we're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel. For Lakitu, I would suggest just giving him his party time outfit. That's the only alt he has in Tor, and it's the only way I can possibly think of giving him an alt, unless you just wanted to maybe like, I don't know, give him like a different color shell or something. Toadette I thought was going to be difficult, but was actually super easy. They love giving Toadette different alts in Tor, and it starts with Captain Toadette, or Explorer Toadette. Next we have Penguin Toadette, and then Builder Toadette. Last but not least, we have Toadette Sailor and Toadette Astronaut. I think that's a, like a very well-rounded group of six alternate costumes for Toadette. For King Boo, we have his Luigi's Mansion variant, which is like a completely different color palette, a lot more purple, has a big gem on the top of his head, and then just a gold version of King Boo. I mean, that's already in Mario Kart Tour, why not just put it in the game? All right, for the babies, okay, here this gets a little difficult. Technically, we could just give the babies their alternate costumes from Tour, even though they are very, very lame. You got stuff like Baby Peach, Cherub, or Baby Rosalina, Detective. Please I want to play as my favorite Mario character, Baby Mario Koala. Baby Luigi and Baby Daisy don't have any variants in Tor, but considering the bar is so low for the other ones, Nintendo could just come up with something. I don't know, these are the only characters that I feel like just don't really deserve alternate costumes at all. If you guys can think of any though, you already know what to do. Let me know down in the comments. Metal Mario obviously already has Gold Mario, and then Pink Gold Peach could just have like a silver metal version of Peach, or just any reskin of that metallic version of Peach. All right, next let's get into Wario, and this is where it gets a little tricky. So for Wario, we start off with base Wario, but then it had to happen. Wario's WarioWare outfit. Smash Bros calls him like Biker Wario. I just call him WarioWare because, I mean, that's what he's from. I would absolutely love this. I love the WarioWare games, so this reference would be super cool. Then we have Cowboy Wario, followed up by Hiker Wario from Mario Kart Tour. Then Gold Wario. I wanted to think of some sort of like pink gold or like, you know, orange bronze type version of Wario I could say here. But to be honest, it just makes the most sense for Wario to be gold. I mean, all he does is care about money and all that. Gold Wario just makes too much sense. Last but not least, we have this alternate from Smash Ultimate. I don't know if this originates from anything. I just like the red hat. I think it's kind of funny because that's Mario's colors, but Wario's wearing them. Next, we have Waluigi. First, we 
have Waluigi Bus Driver and then Waluigi Vampire. I think a vampire version of Waluigi is hilarious because it's not something I would have thought of, but now that Mario Kart Tour made that into an actual thing, it's like, oh yeah, Waluigi's totally a vampire. I mean, look at the guy. Last but not least, we have Amethyst Waluigi. I don't know, something metal related. I just didn't want him to feel left out. If Wario gets an alternate like metal version costume, then Waluigi does too. Next, we have Donkey Kong. I'm gonna be honest, I think the Smash Ultimate versions of Donkey Kong are fine. They get the job done. It's still clearly Donkey Kong, but he looks a little different enough because of the color swaps that he looks cool. I think you just give us the other versions of Donkey Kong that are in Smash Ultimate. They, they kind of all look fine to me. Next, we have Bowser. And oh man, some of Bowser's alternate costumes are my favorite in this entire video. First, we have Dry Bowser, who is obviously already in the game, but is basically just a clone of Bowser. So for, you know, simplicity's sake, we're putting him here. And then Gold Dry Bowser from Mario Kart Tour, which I think looks sick. His like blue eyes are really cool. Then Dr. Bowser, who gave this man his medical license? He should not be a practicing doctor. And then Santa Bowser. I don't know why Bowser has a Santa variant. He's more kind of like the Grinch than Santa, but uh, it works. And then, and this would be the only character I ever drove with if they added this into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Meowser. Bowser with the Super Bell. The final boss of Super Mario 3D World. This would be amazing. Next, we have Dry Bones. Just give him a gold variant. And then Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. only has one variant in Tor, but it's one of the coolest variants in that entire game. Give me Pirate Bowser Jr., please. Dry Bowser obviously has gold Dry Bowser, but I also kind of just put him in Bowser's alternate costume, so that makes more sense to me. And then, oh boy, the Koopalings. What type of alternate costume do we do here? Well, we can't look to Tor, because only one of them actually has an alternate costume, and I'm sorry, but Larry Wintertime is not gonna cut it. This is, this is so dumb. This does not need to be in the game. Instead, what I think they should do is lean into the kind of pixel art in 3D aesthetic that I brought up at the start of this video with SNES Mario, and just give us pixelated versions of the Koopalings that throw back to their original appearances in Super Mario Bros. 3. They already have like designs for them in pixel art, obviously from Mario 3, but if they wanted to, they could take ones from uh, Super Mario World or the original Super Mario Bros. game because they got added in Mario Maker. They had to make new pixel art for them there, so it kind of works. That's the best idea I had with the Koopalings because, again, I don't think any of them deserve actual alternate costumes. Although, if we want to get really creative, you could match certain Koopalings up with Brutals from Mario Odyssey. So, Wendy would be Harriet. Morton would probably be Topper, maybe. Iggy would be Rango. I don't know. I, they'd have to figure it out. But I would like to play as these malicious rabbits in Mario Kart. I think that's cool. Moving on to the final row, Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl both have alternate costumes, and obviously so does Link with his Breath of the Wild all. However, both villagers do not. Honestly, I would have bet money that they did. I just assumed that they already had alternate costumes, but they don't. Luckily, this is probably the easiest one in this game. Literally any type of other villager would work. I would just give them their Smash variants to kind of have that cross promotion between Mario Kart and Smash. And also, I just think the Smash variants look good. And that leaves us with just one character remaining, and that is Isabel. Now, the smart answer here is Digby. Digby is Isabel's brother. So, I mean, they're the same species and everything. They're Related, it makes more sense for them to be alternate costumes of each other, but we're not here to make sense. We're here to have fun. Give me Tom Nook. With that out of the way, we've given every character currently in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe alternate costumes. And if you made it this far, hit the like button and comment down below what your favorite alternate costume from this video would be. Also, the video on screen right now gives 50 new carts to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Some of those carts are absolutely hilarious, so check it out right now.